month of September, we're talking about education. Kasama natin si Professor Jennifer Chandler to share her educational stories Hello. with us. <laughs> right. No, it, it it doesn't happen overnight. No, it's not. It takes a while, but there's an end result. Yes. Right? Yes. So, okay, being in Hawaii, because a lot of people that watch right. are in Hawaii, what what was your experience like? Uh, so I had never been to Hawaii before, and a group of us... Uh, girlfriends, we all, there was 10 or 12 of us. Mm -hmm. We said, we're going to give ourselves a graduation present, and we all went to Hawaii. And you never left? Well, I left to go to Europe for that backpacking right. trip, and then I moved back. Um, but landing there and seeing that pervasiveness of the Asian culture and just feeling... At home. Feeling at home and feeling how it was to be surrounded by that spirit you know and that energy and right. that energy and I just fell in love with it and I said oh my god the culture is so strong here I just kind of want to live this and yeah. feel this so I, I decided to stay and I did temp jobs I did um, anything and everything to right. be able to right. live on the yeah. island yeah and then um, actually my first job was in student affairs at Chaminade University uh-huh um, and that's when I decided that I didn't want to become an administrator in uh -huh. higher ed. Uh -huh. And I, can't, it, I ended up getting back into television and advertising. I know, because you're in media as well. Right, yeah. So right. no matter how much I tried to get away from that passion, it just kept drawing me back. Okay, talk to us about finding scholarships. I mean, oh. uh, how, how does that happen? The undergraduate scholarship... I think somebody had told my dad about it, and he said, you need to look into this, because I was trying to pay for everything while working and through student loans. And it was That's tough. It was surprisingly easy to get the scholarship. It was if your parent had been... In uh, the Navy or... Yeah, a veteran. Um, right. There was a, a stipend. I mean, back in that day, it was a full, a full stipend for the tuition fees. Amazing. Yeah, so Okay, and then for your master's, you were also invited back... Yeah, I was on a scholarship. On a scholarship. Um, I didn't know about that scholarship at all. They called me and said, if you finish, we'll pay for your tuition. That's amazing. Yeah. And okay, and then talk to us about when you graduated your master's, yes. getting a PhD and a full ride scholarship as well. Right. So uh, when I finished my master's program, I was in the business plan competition, and we had done pretty well in the business plan competition. The dean of the business school said, we need somebody like you on faculty. Um, would you consider a lecturer position? At that point, I was consulting and I was running my own business. Uh, so I thought, well, that would be kind of fun. And that, remember, the PhD thing was always in the back of my head. So I went into the classroom and I thought, wow, you just pay me to talk to people all day? <laughs> that, that's kind of cool. So um, I said, what do I need to do to make this permanent? And they said, well, you got to get a PhD. And I said, oh, okay, I remember that. Okay, you know, by this time, it had been, I was out of school maybe. I was out of school for about five or six years. Um, and, at, and, and at that point, my husband was also looking for a change. Mm -hmm. So he said, let's sell our house and go to grad school like you always wanted to go to grad school, and let's just see what happens. And you had children at we this had, point. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We had a one-year-old. He's, he's now 13. Amazing. We had a one-year-old. We sold our house, which was across the street from the beach. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then we went to um, live in Irvine and did... I did my PhD at UC Irvine. So how long did that take you? It took me four years, three and a half years to finish. What are the challenges in pursuing oh higher education and going all the way? You question everything about yourself. Um, someone told me it's not rocket science, it's persistence. And mm. it's about taking everything that gets thrown at you and figuring out how to make it work. So I would say that uh, it's about knowing what you're good at, knowing what you're not good at, and taking that loss, you know, and then uh, time management. Mm -hmm. Really basic things and posit having a positive attitude. Mm. Uh, even now, as, as somebody who's in the classroom, I can see the A students and the C students. And if they are down on themselves and, you know, they get that C and they're done and they're like, I'm going to fail the class. It's, so it's, everything's yeah. over, you know. So it's knowing your strengths. Yeah, knowing your strengths and playing to that. I think that's the big and your passion. Your passion for Follow it. your passion. Right. I didn't know, even to this day, I'm still doing research on issues related to culture um, and technology. It just, it never went away. And it's that passion that'll drive you past 
the obstacles and help you to get past those tough times because there's going to be tough times. Right. Um, I know that there are not a lot of uh, professors that are right. Filipino American in higher education. Right. Why do you think that is? I have no idea. Why would that be? It's because tough. it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's a tough. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a tough profession, and it's not like your parents raise you to go. You yeah. should be a teacher no. one day, no. right? Yeah. And I think uh, if you are anything like a successful student, you should be a doctor or a lawyer. Right. That's usually what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was because of mentoring that I was able to find this path and. Uh, peer counselors and counselors, yes. student affairs right. officials. So, so, so let's talk about, about that. the people that have mentored you because here on Kababayan today, we're very big on mentoring. Right. And um, it's important that we surround ourselves uh, with people in the community exactly. that can give us advice to really pursue our passions in life. Wag po kayong aalis dito sa Kababayan today. Kausapan natin si Professor Jennifer Chandler.